Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today in this video, we're going to talk about how to protect your Google AdSense account from invalid clicks. Now, it doesn't matter if you're using a blogger or WordPress website, you will ac come across this problem, Google AdSense invalid clicks. Now, if you're getting this problem, it means that you are being temporarily banned from showing ads. Now, this is not a very good sign for AdSense revenue since your AdSense revenue will be close to zero. It's, it will be exactly zero because you'll not be displaying any ads on your website now the reason for this problem why they are putting an invalid clicks is because why you are getting an invalid clicks because it might be one of these four reasons what i mentioned right here poor or spammy content if you're now your content is really poor or if, it, or if it's spammy content or misleading content now that might lead to an invalid click or lots of ads now if you're being greedy and you're placing a lots of ads basically it looks like there is more ads than the content it will lead to invalid clicks so don't do it keep the google never restricted how many ads you can place it but make sure the content is more than the clicks i mean more than your ads make sure you have uh, if you're having 10 paragraph three ads will be enough not more than that so make sure you have a right placement of ads not more ads than your content and uh, lack of knowledge of about, about your ads and stuff you're keeping uh, your website on on your laptop or your phone and giving to someone else and they just click on ads if anyone you are giving to uh, and uh, they have no knowledge of your website or adsense and if they just click on your ad ads on your website and if they keep on doing it with the same ip address it will surely lead to uh, invalid clicks now this invalid click will either temporarily ban your adsense account or permanently if it's permanently there is no option to retain it you need to start all over again by probably uh, signing up with the new email and giving an approval again so now this is a lengthy process and the fourth one which we cannot control that is enemy now if you have any enemy and you know or if they know that you are starting a blog and you are given an adsense, AdSense approval now if they are your enemy obviously they will click on it and there is a new method which your enemy can do it that is using an vpn and changing your ip or changing their ip address and keep on hitting that ads if your enemy is doing it uh, we can't control it because they have their own cell phones or laptops they will do on their own uh, devices so now these are the four reasons why there will be an issue in your google adsense now these four reasons will lead to invalid clicks either you are using a blogger or a wordpress it doesn't matter this is the this way this this is one issue that we need to protect uh, we need to protect our google adsense from these invalid clicks now in wordpress i i recommend if you are if you want to start your blog it's rather be on wordpress than bloggers because in blogger there aren't any plugins because in wordpress there are lots of plugins which can help you protect your adsense account and there are more customizations themes features than in blogger blogger is a limited version whereas wordpress is a high-end version in wordpress there's a plugin which actually protects the adsense account but in this video i'm going to just show uh, in blogger as well as wordpress how you can protect your google adsense account so if you're new to my channel please subscribe and ring the bell so that whenever i come up with the new tips and tricks i'll make sure to send a notification so that you don't miss on any one of my video so let's get started so in the beginning let me show you how to protect your adsense account if you're using a wordpress website i mean the wordpress i have written an article you can just go through if you if you're not one to watch entire video here for wordpress users just go to plugin and then i, I told you earlier there's a plugin now that plugin is called aicp adsense invalid click protector now let me show you how it is let's go to the dashboard and go to plugin section and click on add new now in the plugin section just give a search AICP just search for AICP and you shall see this this is the one I have shown in my look, look at this image properly now this is the plugin we need to install it click on install now once it's installed click on activate now it is it has been activated so let's check just go to install the plugins i 
and uh, this is the one you can see it's, it has been installed and activated adsense invalid click protector just click on settings so that we can do the settings how many times that should be shown to a particular users if they are spamming so here you can see set the ad click limit now i recommend you change it and keep it to two which means that if anyone is clicking your adsense twice in a day that would be enough once the user click twice on your website in a in a in the same day it will not show them the ads for next how many hours we can we can check it set the visitors ban duration default for 7 days now it it okay now just just leave everything as default now this will be 7 days is enough now don't uh, mess around anything with it now this is the do you want to block showing ads from specific countries if you are if you can check if anyone is using a different country and if your uh, adsense account if the uh, if in your google adsense account if it's showing that invalid clicks is coming from particular country for example if anyone is using a vpn and uh, you can check that you can uh, from the google google adsense account itself uh, the invalid clicks are coming from poland or thailand or from other countries you can just click on yes and put the country name over here for example this is the website just click over here and you can check all the country list now if anyone is weeping using vpn and uh, using some other countries ip and uh, making an invalid click you can just check for that country's code as they have shown alpha to country code supported by comma just take these codes you can take any code if you want for example or this afghanistan or uh, algeria if you're getting invalid clicks from algeria just copy it and paste it right over here and click on save changes now i have not got any actions uh, invalid clicks from any other countries for uh, so that's is i don't want to put a random country so this is the one you should set it keep it two if it is three because um, the two times ads will be more than enough just click on save changes after these settings So this is how you do it in uh, WordPress. It's very simple. There's a plugin AICP. Install it. Just do the settings what I've just showed you. And um, that will be more than enough. It will protect your ads in second and you will never get an invalid clicks. So this is uh, for the WordPress. Now in the blog, there isn't any plugin. So there's a lot of stuff we need to do. I have I given a code. Just come to this blog. I'll give the link in the description. And just click the link in the description and uh, come to this article now there are two codes now this is a default code there isn't any uh, limit like there was in the uh, wordpress i showed you i have set the limit to two if anyone taking my ad twice it, they it will that will not be shown to him for next seven days so there is this isn't the code because there is no option in this to set any limits so i prefer you take this code copy the entire and control c as i have said in the article place between the header tags just come to the theme section edit html just right after the head tag place this code and here the clicks just change it to two the same thing we have set the limit to two we just have to show the ads twice if they're clicking in more than twice that shouldn't be shown to them for next seven days or so so just change it to two you can keep it three but i recommend you keep it two and click on save settings now that's it we have saved the settings but i want to tell you about the blogger thing because in the blogger there isn't a perfect plugin so this is a code developed by the bloggers itself the people who are blogger developers they have developed this code this is is this isn't 100 percent effective but this is the only code you can try it out this is not 100 percent but, but it is somewhat effective it will protect your actions account from 90 to more than 90 percent it will it will protect it but I can't assure the 100% if it is going to protect you or not because but in WordPress the plugin is made by the professionals now this that's why I said in the beginning though 
blogger is free i recommend you put some investment and uh, start on with the wordpress I will, i'll give the link in the description so i can purchase for a very cheap price at a discounted price i give the link in the description wordpress discount price just click on it now i recommend you do that if you want to still want to continue with the blogger that's very fine with me and uh, if you do if you're continuing the blogger make sure you keep this code and protect your adsense account so that's how we do it if you like my content Please give a thumbs up and comment if you have any doubt so that I can solve it. I'll see you in the next video.